Discovered hip hop, and this is my passion. My passion. Dreams of Beat Street, the B-Boy stance. The f- What's up? It's cool, man. Success Family Records. We are here on a smaller number sure. Arm to the teeth. We're going like eight dates in Colorado. Pushing a new project, the Miracle. You know what I'm saying? And, and got the new record coming out. Time to bake the donuts. Our sub noise records. The suburban noise records. And uh, it's just a blessing to be able to come out here and push our music. You know what I'm saying? And how long have you been touring over the years? Yeah, we've been touring since like the, uh, like 90, 96. Now it's stopped. We started in Northwest Portland. Portland is where I'm from. And then uh, we just progressed from there. As the record got hot, people started wanting to see us. We started spreading out to other areas. And we got hooked up with Tech Nine, Scrolling members. Uh, uh, been out, we've been out here with Method Man. And uh, much, you know, just working, man. We're grinding. Is there any, uh, over the years, over the years, have you noticed the road getting any better? Like touring ways? I feel like as you keep pushing the line and people recognize what you're doing, it definitely gets better. Like, like tonight, the mics wasn't working, the sound man was front and shit. But the people, the people seen it, people came, people were like, people heard it, they felt it, and they still come and they buy music, they buy yeah. the t-shirts and they say, y'all killed it. So it's like the, 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 the cream rise to the top. There's nothing, there's nothing that's going to stop good music. And when you go hard, you work hard, you grind hard, you get the fruits of that grind, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Do you notice a decline in record sales over the years? Oh, yeah. Over the last few years, you know, people buying less music, they can get it free on the internet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get out. That's why we out here doing this. We out here touring. You touch the people. When you touch the people, they feel like they got a connection, so they got to support the music because they know that, like, them supporting you supports you giving them good music, like, whether it be recording quality music, whether it be you being able to come back and tour, you know what I'm saying? The people, when you get the people on board, you can't be stopped. So, like, when the record sales slow down, the people come back and they support when you get, Especially when you got good in your heart. They support what's good, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Then word of mouth goes yeah. a long way, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. You hear something good, you want to spread the word. Exactly. Then uh, when you do your music, which comes first, the music or the lyrics? Lyrics. Like I hear the beat, I hear the beat, but then I'm also thinking of stuff that makes people want to keep coming. Like, that makes people say, damn, like, that was either deep or it was creative. So, like, either you give them something deep or you give them something creative, you know what I mean? And it's like, you got to give people something that means something, something they can take away from something. Like, you see the show tonight, and people remember them lyrics, a mad child prevail, you know what I'm saying? Or like, or like even when we, to, when we on to a Tech 9, this ring, the stuff where he's personal, where he's giving you a side of him. So the lyrics, when you're giving people something with some meaning, it gives them the opportunity to connect with you as an artist, you know what I'm saying? And it's bigger than just a beat. It's like, it's one thing to be heard, it's another thing to be felt. When you felt, you right there, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And then, is there any quote that you use when times are tough to kind of help you get over whatever is going on? Man, it's like I was meant to do this. Like, this is what I was built for. Like, we did a we did a benefit concert in Portland for the for the uh, the earthquake in Haiti, uh-huh. and we did it with like uh, 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 like a classic music choir, violin players, and classic pianists. And when I got there, it was like. 40 to 50 year old, you know, Caucasian white people that were there for the show. And I'm like feeling like, you know, like, this is how they gonna feel me. But then I'm sitting in the back room and I'm like, I was born to do this, I was built for this. And, as we, and when we came out there, we killed it. Because I knew that this is, what I, this is my calling, this is what I'm here for. Like tonight, the mics could be bad, the sound man could be up there on stage, but the people recognize when you built for this, when you was made for this, God, God bless me with this, a blessing. That's why I got the CD The Miracle, and it's a miracle that I'm able to do this and give it to the people, you know what oh, yeah. And make a living at it, yeah. and, and see the world, you know what I mean? Like that's and, what it's about. And enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching around when you guys were up there, and I could see everyone. <laughs> You want the music? It was yeah, good. We go hard, man. Like, like we want to give people something that's real big, like real music. That's like not no gimmicks. There ain't no gimmicks to it. It's like this is good. This is good. That's all it is. Good. It's gonna be good. Yeah. And do you remember what your life was like before Google.com? Man, <laughs> like Google.com, all that gives the world access to what we do. like. Uh, 
official website, CD Baby, that we sell our music to, that, give, that gives our music access to the world. So that the internet is the gift and the curse. The gift is that it gives you access to the world. The curse is a lot of it's free. But at the same time, like when I went to, I went to Norway, and we did shows in Norway, and when we got over there, the people in Norway already knew the music, the history, you know what I'm saying, the story behind it, because they were able to get on the internet and search it and, and do research, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's like, that's the blessing of the internet, but it's also a curse in that people can go on there and access music for free. That's why I know CD Baby, that's the same company that hosts my website. Yeah, okay. It's Host Baby is yeah, who yeah, does yeah, my... Yeah, Host Baby. That's I love them, they're a good, yeah, small yeah. company, they're... I just had good experience with them. Yeah. So I'll give them their shouts out. <laughs> <laughs> CD Baby. Host CD Baby, baby Host yeah. Baby. They support independent music. Independent musicians, you know, help them take it to the world. Yeah. And then uh, when you meet girls, like, how would you get their number? How would you ask for their number if it came to that? I would just say this me being me. You know, first and foremost, you see a woman. And for me, like right now, I'm not even in that mode because I'm engaged. Yeah. I got a kid on the way. Uh, a beautiful baby boy. He do June 30th. His name is Maximilian already. Kicking and going tough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? While I'm out here on the road, his mom is a blessing. And you know what I'm saying? And she allowed, she really allowed me to be out here. Yeah. While she at home with the, yeah. the belly. But, you know, it's, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, when you meet women, you just gotta be you. It ain't no, it's like how we were saying about the music. It's no gimmicks. Yeah. Women gonna feel you for being you. You walk into them, and the easiest way to get to talk to a woman is say, hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, you My nailed it. It's cool, nice, you know what I'm saying? And then they see you, either they're attracted to you or they're not. And you build from there. When you see that attraction, you build from that attraction. And then, and it'll take you wherever you need to go. You know what I'm saying? I'll skip to the next question since you're engaged. Yeah. What do you think are the keys to keeping a marriage together? I think, man, being, being honest, you know, showing love, keeping respect to your, to your counterpart, and, um, and, and, and just letting somebody know that you're there for them. And, and once people know that they can have that faith and that trust in you, nothing else can go beyond that, you know, and then love is a powerful tool, and, and, and love is a powerful thing just for everybody because it's like true emotions goes outside of you being an alpha male or you being a detective guy or whatever, it goes into like being able to share with your woman, the woman being able to share with you and y'all knowing each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, with my, with my fiance, she tells me, you know, like, when I met her, she had a bunch of friends and a bunch of people. I had a bunch of friends and a bunch of people. But as we became closer, we become each other's best friends. When we talk to each other about everything and we feel each other and we know each other. And that's when, when, when it comes to a real relationship, real relationships ain't governed by the fake stuff. And you know that, like, I'm not going nowhere, she's not going nowhere, and you work with that. And, like, arguments don't, arguments ain't make or break arguments. They become things that, like, we argue about it and we move past it and keep it pushing. And then, because we know we're going to be there for each other. And I know I got to be there for her, you know what I'm saying? And she yeah. got to be there for me. And that's what it's about. Hell yeah. You want to give any shouts out, your website and everything? Uh, One more time. JustFamilyRecords.com, Twitter.com, backslash Cool Nuts, hit the Facebook. I got a radio show in Portland every Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. It's called the Northwest Breakout Show, Independent Music. It's on Clear Channel. You know, we support independent Northwest hip hop. And you can send your music in there. You can listen to the show at ChannonFM.com. It's ChannonFM.com. And look for the new album, Time to Bake the Donuts, on Suburban Noise Records. Because what we do is with this music, we get up at 5 a.m. even early. We get up at 4 a.m. and we push the line on this music, you know what I'm saying? Shout outs to like Double O, DJ Fatboy, Bosco, Maniac Loke, uh, Kenny Mack, and everybody hold me down, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you for interviewing me, Hell yeah. you know what I'm saying? Helping me spread this gospel. Hell yeah. Church. Well, thanks for your time. Sure. We'll find this up on crazyjare.com. So, table with a real niggas, hey, let's get it. To the kids, this is crack smoke rap. The real niggas work juggling a trap. The hustle so real, a vision of dough swell. Nigga had dreams of cooking a dope well. Life is a track meet and who gon' run it? The whip gang, sick dog, stupid dope stand. My rap swag dummy. The-